Merry Christmas, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Midweek Move. This is Dallas here, and today we have a very special episode of our podcast. In light of Christmas, we thought we'd have Pastor Scott kind of walk you guys through the actual Christmas story found in the book of Luke. So I want to encourage you to gather your family, uh, warm up a cup of coffee or some hot cocoa, whatever you got, and just sit down, relax. If you got a fireplace, light it up. And let's, let's walk through the story of Jesus' birth, our Savior, together. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, Consider what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. And then Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I do not know a man? And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore, also the Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. And now indeed, Elizabeth, your relative, also has conceived a son in her old age. And this is now the sixth month for her who was called barren. For with God, nothing will be impossible. And then Mary said, Behold, the maidservant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. And this census first took place while Quirinius was governing Syria. So all went to be registered, everyone to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and the lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. She brought forth her firstborn son, wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the end. Now there were in the same country, shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. And then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly... There was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. So it was when the angels had gone from them into heaven that the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Now when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told to them concerning this child. And all those who heard it marveled at those things which were told to them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told them. Hey, thank you for listening to today's podcast. We hope this encouraged you. We hope that maybe that today 
as you've listened to this, you have a, a deeper appreciation for the birth of our Savior and the things that took place. There's so much more that took place in Luke chapter 2 that you guys can dive into. I want to encourage you to open your Bibles, read through it yourselves. And if you have questions, if you need some encouragement, if you need prayer, reach out to us, mediahub at thbstreetport.com. And if you're listening to this before uh, Christmas morning and you're in the Streetport Bowser area, please feel free to visit, be part of our worship gathering on campus or online. But on campus, we're called, uh, we're located at 8957 Kingston Road, Streetport, Louisiana. Until next time, have a great week.